Hi, Stephen Caleb here with Brownells with another edition of Smithbusters. And today we're going to look at some myths about how to lubricate your bolt carrier group for your AR-15, AR-10, BRN-10, whatever you happen to have. Let me start out. When I was a young recruit back in the 1970s, basic training, they told us to put a drop of LSA, which was the lubricant used then, kind of like break free, right down there, down the key. And that was gospel at the time. You ever heard anything like that? Yes, so when I was in the Army, um, another weird one that I heard was that you put CLP into these three holes here. Really? Yep, those, the ones where the uh, high pressure gas is Yeah, the out. combustion chamber. Yeah, almost. blowing everything out, so yeah. yeah um, Makes absolutely no sense once you actually understand the way the, the well, firearm functions. But. Now that I've gotten older, uh, the, what I was taught does make a lot of sense because when you drop a drop of oil in there, it carbonizes, gets all gunky in there, and it gives your recruit something extra to do and takes up some more time. There you go. I see why they did it now. But as far as making the gun run better, no. Yep, not at all. So um, real quick, I'll just go over where you should lubricate the bolt. And if you have a phosphated bolt, bolt carrier group like this one, um, it's a good idea to get all the metal hydrated and just wipe off any excess. But the area you wanna actually have oil um, is gonna be on these rails here. That's your friction surface. This one here, the bottom, this is, this is what pushes your hammer down. It's gonna be riding against that. And then you can see shiny here, these friction surfaces as well. Um, it doesn't put a, it doesn't hurt to put another drop uh, on the cam pin where it's rotating in the bolt, but really, that's the only area you need to lubricate it. You don't need to. These aren't oil holes; they're vent holes. So, <laughs> don't put them there. And we're talking about you know regular use under regular conditions. Now, right. when you were in the desert, what did they tell you to do? They told they told us to run them wet. Yeah, as exactly. Wet as possible. So. You can have oil dripping out of the gun. This will work fine. Just keep it out of this area. You know where they told us to put it in years ago. You can run it dry in regular conditions, run it wet when you want to. It doesn't seem to matter, you know, 99% of the time. But if you really want the gun to run right, keep it out of the combustion area. I've also heard that you don't need to lubricate bolt carrier groups. And I've also heard this myth coming around the different materials they're made of. Um, like the titanium nitride or the MP3s or the, uh, the those other chrome platings and right. different things like that. A lot like of them are advertised as, you know, dry runnable. Right, and in normal conditions, sure, you can do that, yep. um, but it's not gonna hurt to lubricate it. It's only gonna make it run better. Those, right. those are slick surfaces. Add an oil to it, it's gonna make it slicker. Um, and it depends on the inside of your receiver and your buffer right. tube and all that too, how well it'll run without oil. So a little lube just sparingly applied makes a big difference. You can feel it when you bring the charging handle back. Yep, exactly. So that's all we have here today on this episode of Smith Busters. Uh, make sure you join us next time. If you would like to add anything to this or request some myth to be busted yourself, feel yeah. free to leave a comment down below. If or, you run it totally wet or totally dry, let us know. We wanna see what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. We, we wanna know what's working best for you. So leave us a comment down below or give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.